Hi Gemini, this is Marishi and Masha Shalukan. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to happen for this week. Please add this on the rising Venus. Just one more time. Let's see. Your first card is a tower. All right. Seems like uh, something huge has happened. Okay, something big has happened, which had a great impact on your life. Shit has hit the fan. That kind of energy. Okay, but I see you're still holding onto this. It might have already happened, and you're still holding onto this. Not willing to let it slip through. Hmm? Let it affect you. It has already affected, but then you're not willing to. Um, let go. Hmm? Some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn energy. Yes, because uh, what I see it, you're still trying to manifest this. Uh, you're still trying to make this work. Okay, some of you might be dealing with an Aries energy. Interesting. Gemini is out there. What else? Yes, you want that opportunity to come through. Your next card is this one though. Ten of Cups, an opportunity to make things happy again. You know, getting that commitment. When we saw the Two of Wands, you're manifesting this into your life. You want this so badly. Hmm? Even after everything, uh, whatever has happened, you still want this back. Yeah, You still want to join hands with them. Some of you might be dealing with the Pisces energy. Right now, just plain and simple. Right now, things are like this. Yeah? Uh, you're separated. You feel betrayed. You're by yourself. You're out in the cold. Okay? You don't have the support of the other person. Uh, you're not on the same page. All that. Okay? So, this did happen. This is how it is. But this is what you're expecting. Getting back together. Alright? You're manifesting this. Some of you might be dealing with the Taurus energy. Gemini is out there. What else? Your next card is this one. Justice. Because you feel like this is the right thing to do. Now this has to happen. Justice needs to be served. Some of you might be going through a divorce, okay? But what you want is things to go back to where it was once upon a time with this wheel card. Because you feel like you need justice. Whatever is going on right now with that five pentacles, that's not right. You want things to turn around in your favor. And that is justice for you. You want justice from what has happened. This tower had a huge impact on your life. Alright, there is something which wants to come through. Because you have assessed this whole thing. And you understood. Okay, you've gone within. And you've realized this is what I want. Your happiness is at stake. Your happiness is dependent upon this justice. Uh, in regards to the wheel turning in your favor. Somehow, um, you're taking charge of your life. Okay? Or you're dealing with an emperor. Could be an Aries energy. Could be a Taurus energy. Could be a significant other, father to your children. Hmm? So you see a family situation here. Okay, moving on. Gemini is what else? No? That's interesting. 
The next card is this one. Page of Cups. There is this vulnerability about you. You're being very vulnerable. You're, you feel very exposed. Hmm? There is this innocence about you. Childlike energy. I want justice. You know, from what has happened. This is not right. I'm not mocking you. No, I'm not mocking you. I'm just seeing the energy I'm speaking about it. Hmm? Can I say it? Being a little foolish. With this page of cups and the full card. Not mocking you. No. Okay? The justice which you're seeing, okay, or which is seeking. Maybe it is just you being very optimistic. You know? Things mostly doesn't go by the books. That's the unfortunate part about life. You, know, you feel this is right, but you know, people don't go by the rules. All right. You're hoping for fresh beginnings. You're hoping for a second chance. Hoping for a word to be in your favor. Gemini is out there. I could be a little tired because I've been doing all the 11 readings at one stretch. So, this is my last reading. Uh, page of Wands. You feel like, again, that's a page. Okay, so understand the energy. The page-like energy. The child-like energy. You know, being very optimistic. Because you feel there is a potential for things to happen. There is still a chance. Okay, when I'm looking at the Page of Rods and the Ten of Cups. Can you see the cards? Uh, page of Rods right under the Ten of Cups. So, you know, you, you feel like there is a potential to have this connection, to have this commitment, to have this happiness back in your life. For the wheel to turn around. To, to make this happen. Okay? Because this is everything what you wanted, wished for. This is your dreams and desires. This brings you happiness. This person, if it is a person, then this person is the one for you. Like you, you feel like that. Okay? What's your next card, Gemini? What's your next card? card is this one, Two of Pentacles. It's a shitstorm. Okay? Things are pretty much out of order around you. But yet, you're trying to balance it out. How much of a difficult it is. This is after the tower has happened. You're still holding on to this. Yeah, it's, it's important for you to not miss out. You know, juggling. You're sitting and juggling. In such pathetic, uh, you know, conditions. You know, it's not um, favorable. Okay, if you look at this card, behind this person is, um, it, uh, there is a storm which is going on. Okay, the waters are very much, um, you know, wild. The ship is going wild out there. So it's, it's not favorable. Hmm? In the traditional deck, you will see the person is juggling plus he's standing on one foot because he is on shaky, uh, sorry, he is on uh, slippery grounds. He's standing on slippery rocks by the shore. That unfavorable. But still, you're trying to manage. However hard it is, you're trying to manage to get this justice. To make things right. So that you do not, uh, you know, uh, you don't miss out. You don't lose them. That's, that's your way of thinking. Queen of Rods. Very determined, very focused. This is a person who will get what they want. Make things happen. Yeah? 
they know their worth. They feel like the justice will be on their favor. That is why they're still trying to juggle this. Okay? Trying to make it work. Not losing hope. Uh, some of you might be dealing with the Capricorn energy or probably a Pisces or an Aries person. Gemini is out there. What else? Your next card is this one. Five one. So much conflicts. There is no doubt about it. You are in a very conflictual situation. That is the reason why the tower has you know, happened. Little conflicts. You're not on the same page as this person. But still what you expect is a ten of cups. Hmm? You're not, uh, you might not be in talking terms right now. Hmm? But still, you're trying to uh, not let them go. You're trying hard. Okay? You want some kind of a transition to happen within this uh, situation. Okay? Within this conflict. You want to let it be in the past. That card speaks about leaving the dead behind and moving on. Transitioning. So you want to leave behind what has already happened. The tower, the five wands, all that. And you want to um, get into a better phase. Get to the next level. By trying to make it work. Your next card is this one though. I'm telling you, this devil has been coming in each, at least, five readings. Like, I have no idea why. And it makes total sense as well, because the way it comes out, it's like, dude, think about it. Okay? Because the Ten of Cups and the potential which you're, you know, thinking, you know, you, you're thinking there is a potential to have this. I'm sorry, you can see it. Yes, this is what you're seeking for. Okay, this is the justice which you think, you know, is right. This is the right thing to happen. This is supposed to happen. But the way you're thinking is a little clouded. There is a toxic energy there. There is this unhealthy way of thinking. Your justice is just your justice. It is not uh, how the world revolves. You get what I'm trying to say. In your head, this is justice. But you will think a little biased. Because you will think only for yourself. That's what I'm getting from here. Hmm? Because you're not thinking straight. It's a little blinded. Even with the spy of wands, conflicted. You're confused right now. Uh, just a quick thought uh, or something which came through. Some of you might be uh, intoxicating themselves and they can't think straight. Your judgments are being clouded because you might be taking something. Okay? You might be consuming something. Some of you are getting a little alcoholic. Why am, why am I saying this? Because with all that cups, A little too much. So keep a watch on that. Okay? Hangman. Just lost. There is so much stagnancy there that it's along with the devil. The hangman. Your next card is this one though. Last card. For us all. You just want to... Um, you just praying. Hoping for things to heal. Okay? Yes. Um... Uh, and you feel like this will happen because it's a last card. Things will heal. Things will resolve by itself. You, you, that is the way you're thinking. Like You feel like you're very clear about this. I don't know what's with this week. But everybody is a little you know, foggy up here. Hmm? Hangman, think about it. Now, take a few steps back and think about it. And you need to have a different perspective. Think from a third person's perspective. 
Because in a traditional deck, the person has a halo around his head. Even if they are um, having this time off, they will um, use that time to think things through. Okay? Because I see your judgments, the way you're thinking about your justice, is a little biased, is overly biased. Okay? Because the tower has already happened and you are not willing to accept it. As simple as that. Yeah. Think it through. You need to break through the bullshit. Okay? Take the time off. With the four swords as well, you're resting. You need to heal yourself first. Okay? And understand uh, the way you're thinking is a little uh, mm, childlike. Understand your position. Very important. The reason why you think yeah, you need justice is because <sighs> you're still bound by them, their energy. Even if they have separated from you, you're still uh, bound with it. Yeah? You cannot shake that off. So just step away. There's nothing else here. Let's see what this tower is about. Uh, very defensive. Okay, uh, with the High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. This is not for the tower. The High Priestess and the Seven of Wands. It's, it's like uh, you're blocking your intuition. Your higher self is trying to speak up. And you're like, shut up. Just, just, I don't want to listen. Okay, because you're blocking. Okay, uh, you're closing up. You don't want to listen to anybody. You don't want to listen to me right now. Okay? Because you believe that you're meant to be together. Hmm? Because your intuition is speaking like that to you. But the thing is, not really. Okay? Not really. Break through that bullshit. Very important. Alright. What is this tower about? I just place it a little off CD there. Mm. All right. What is a star about? So you have pentacles, you're trying to make it work, but this is the card. Uh, there might be things we just said. Again, a childish energy. Page of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Wands. Uh, there might have been things which, uh, which were spoken without thinking too much. Verbal diarrhea, you just said it. And the tower happened. Okay? Tower literally happened. And I don't feel like that Three of Pentacles is your card. Because, you know, when I pulled it out, they said, now, the next card. Okay? You might be trying to make it work, but Page of Swords is uh, the clarifier for the tower. That's interesting. Uh, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn energy. Because Capricorn up here could be a Libra. Okay. You're fighting a fight. Uh, you know, even after the battle is lost, you're still standing. And, you know, you're not giving up. If you look at this situation, the other people have just walked away. They don't want to deal with you right now. Okay? Because the way you're coming through is, you know, you want to just speak with the swords. And you're just pulling out the swords. Like, let's, let's just, you know, you just... There is this very confrontational mode about you. You want justice, I want this to be right, all that. Yeah? I'm not I'm not ridiculing you, but there is a childishness which is just, you know, showing up throughout your this thing. A very immature energy. Okay? It's, it's rude to say, but very immature energy is coming through. 
and you feel like you need justice whatsoever. And the unfortunate part is your justice, your way of thinking of having the justice is getting back with that person. You're not willing to give up. Some of you might be dealing with an Aquarius energy. What else? Ace of Cups. You're fighting for this. You want this. Okay? The, eight, the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Cups. You know? This is your love. And you have to fight for this. No matter what. You're pretty much obsessed with it. Ace of Wands. Like, you cannot let it go. You need to have this so badly. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. You know, this, it's like you cannot look past it. You're that obsessed with it. I want this. I will. I need to make this work. Give me one last card and we'll wrap it up. Okay? Because you'll hate me if I say more. Uh, Gemini is out there. What else? Um, they're asking. This is not your next card. They're asking you to look at this. Assess this. Go within and ask yourself. Okay, there is a dire need to ask yourself, you know, what is going on? What is actually happening? What do you really need? You know, is it worth it? You need to ask the questions. Because right now I feel like you're ignoring all that questions. The next card is this one. Sorry, the next card is this one though. Uh, anyways, the lovers and the emperor. You know, you focus on this emperor with whom you want the connection with. I'm going to pull another card, okay? Because when I pull it out, I don't know why that's happening with your reading. Because they're saying, no, no, like, you know, that's not the answer. This emperor could be involved with another person. The, uh, you know, that could be the tower, which, which you found out. They are already involved. Your significant whom you thought is your emperor is already involved with you know, somebody else. Some of you might be dealing with an Aries energy, probably a Taurus energy or a Gemini energy. They have a family. They, they, they kind of moved on. Or they already have a family with someone. They're involved with somebody. Okay, give me one last card for this tower. Nine of Swords, you're very stressed out. You want the wheel to turn around. Give me one last time. What about the tower? Eight of Pentacles. You will keep working on this, okay? Very anxious, but you will keep keep working on this. You feel like there is a chance to, because two nines together, Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. You will keep working on this, no matter what. How much of it's, uh, you know, it's depressing you. You still want this. No? This is the divine love you think which is yours and only yours. And you need to fight for it no matter what. Even if they are involved with someone else, you still want them. You know about this because the tower is like you know, enlightenment. Like it's, it's, it's shook your world. But still, you know how much of a toxic it is, you're still holding on to this. That's weird. Okay? That's weird. That's it. So that's it for now. This is Marishi Yamacha Shuloka. Until next week, bye.